the Australian Ventura today. Buy a tree. You are my favorite tree that I've ever had. Buy apartment. Buy big TV. Buy Wi-Fi. in St. George in Utah. It was what, seven hour drive? Seven and it was supposed to be six hours, 15, it took us seven hours. Even though I was doing like 85 on the highway when the speed limit was like 75. Shh. Don't worry, there's no cops watching. Yeah, but my mom is. Oh, Kim, we did 65 the whole way. <laughs> so we're in Utah for the week. St. George is basically just on the border between Arizona and and Utah. We're here for Sarah's half Ironman. It is the okay. 70.3 North American Championships, and it's her first year racing in the pro category. And my first pro race. That's why we're out here. And that's why I'm already nervous. And I need tea. <laughs> Welcome to St. George in Utah. I can't stop looking around. It is incredible. What the US lacks in epic climbs, it makes up for in like, holy shit <laughs> scenery. Woo. Just so you know, the GoPro is probably not doing this justice at all. Get out here and ride this road. The Joe Martin stage race was the end of the first portion of my season. After the race, I took a couple days off, refocused on the new goals and set out a training plan with the coach. While the first part of the season was relatively successful, the main focus of my training had been on threshold training. While I hadn't completely avoided the VO2 work, it also hadn't been something that we'd really dug into. So looking ahead to two big stage races in Canada, the Grand Prix Saguenay and the Tour de Beauce, it's really time to dig into that VO2 work and find that extra gear. So I've come to Snow Canyon to get it done. Today is an eight by four minute session. It's gonna be tough. Canyon helps though. I'm currently at 1,100 meters altitude, so I might have to revise those goals down a little bit. What a messy session. I punctured during the recovery, a bit of an interval coming downhill. I almost freaking bailed. I was so in the box, I didn't even notice my front wheel going flat until it like bottomed out. Oh. Those were an absolute mess. Doing VO2 intervals at 1,200 meters when you've just spent six months at sea level is not a joke. It's like your legs feel normal for the first like 30 seconds, I had good watts, and then <laughs> it was just like, <laughs> there was 20 watts just missing. <laughs> <laughs> 